Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Steven de Groot, a Dutch artist, and I've made two videos about working in Procreate Dreams, but I got a lot of questions, and in this video I'm just going to answer these questions. In the last video I said that you cannot import brushes into Procreate, but you can. Here's how it works. What you need to do is to make a split view also open Procreate and then you can drag any brush you want or any brush set you want. And I'm just going to drag this brush set, the Stave Impress brush set into Procreate Dreams. And when you now look at the brushes, you have to scroll down and here you find all of your custom brushes you bought or custom brushes you made yourself. Camel Cutlay asked why you used a secondary back layer of house and masked the second same layer. I didn't understand sir, what is the problem with one back layer of house of hippo? Well if you look closely on the animation, in the beginning you see that Horace Hippo runs from behind the door and I just had one background I just painted that background in Procreate so what you could do is you know cut out this this section but another way to do it is to use a mask so I duplicated the layer because this is the the background layer and I duplicated it on top of the animation of Horus Hippo. So here's the animation of Horus Hippo. And then I created a new drawing on top of it, or a, a new track. And I set that to mask. And you can do that by, you know, pressing on the track and then choose mask. And then everything behind it will be masked. So I've just masked this part of the door. And maybe can show you even better. It's this part that I masked out. So here's the total background and this is the masked out part. So I can just drag anything behind it. So when you see it in total or Zippo runs from behind the door. I also got some questions about how to uh, adjust the keyframes or uh, to hold the keyframes. And I've made this animation on 12 frames per second and this file is 24 frames per second so I need to hold this run uh, each frame I need to hold it for one more frame what you can do is you know the end animation just drag it and make it longer but how to do it with the rest of the uh, frames because now you cannot use this and make it longer. What you can do is try to drag it and hold the finger and then you can make or hold a drawing a little bit longer. So first drag it then press a finger and in this way you can make or hold your frame for one more second or as many seconds as you want. So first drag and then press your finger. I also got some questions about how to do lip syncing in Procreate Dreams. What I did is create a, a group and groups are your friends in Procreate Dreams. In the group I imported an audio file 
This is how you can do lip sync in Procreate and Dreams. Underneath it, there is a group of the head, and in the group is the mouth, and I'm just going to frame number one. That's on a separate track, the head and the neck and the rest of the body. So what I did is create a keyframe first, and then in the layers panel, I created different mouth shapes. What you can do is when you edit the mouth shapes, first have the entire track filled with the first mouth shape and then when you press on edit you can split the keyframe so now you can set the keyframe to another mouth shape so i'm just going to choose this mouth shape and turn the other one off and this is how i animated or did the lip sync in procreate dreams this is how you can do lip sync in Procreate Dreams. Shashore asked, can you change the frame duration in Flipbook? Yes, you can change the frame duration. Uh, what you can do in Flipbook is just press on the thumbnail and then you can duplicate the frame. So it will give you a new frame in between. And there are other options like cut, copy, duplicate, and paste. So if you have a frame up here, you want to copy and then place it at the end of the animation cycle. You can just paste it in. So I've got some questions about uh, scaling up uh, the character or an object in uh, Procreate Dreams, and if that will affect uh, pixelation. I'm just going to show you, uh, I've drawn this character of Horus Hippo, and well, you can scale it up. It's much better than uh, when you scale up things in Procreate. And now I'm zoomed in and, you know, it's always better to uh, make your animations bigger. Certainly if you know, if you want to zoom in on the character, just draw him bigger than the screen size and then scale it down. It's always better to scale down to, than to scale up. Also got this question. Can it run on iPad 9 base variant, 64 gigabytes for animation up to 10 minutes? Savage Interactive has placed a document with all the supported iPads. I'll leave a link below this video and there you can find out you know, what you can use. I hope you enjoyed this video and I've made a playlist of all the Procreate Dreams videos and I'll leave a link below this video. Also good to know is that there is a handbook written by Savage Interactive the developers of Procreate Dreams. I'll also leave a link below this video. I don't know everything about Procreate Dreams, so if you have any suggestions or want to reply on some uh, questions that are under my videos, please do, because we're all here you know, to learn as much as possible about Procreate Dreams. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!